how God's working and moving in that. Good morning. Um, I'm Lauren, and I'm a junior in high school. Um, I started going to Horizons when I was about six, so I've been here for maybe 10 years. And I'm in the youth group here at Horizons. And we started this group called Spread the Love last year. And so this is our second year doing it. And so for those of you who aren't sure what Spread the Love is, um, the youth group, we go down to St. Paul's downtown and we meet up with the St. Paul's youth group. And so we make meals, we make like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, chips, fruit, we put whatever we kind of have planned for that day in these sack lunches. And we take our big group and we go, we spread out downtown and we find someone to share the meal with. And we can, what Nicole and Joel, who is the um, youth leader at St. Paul's, what they tell us is we don't have to find a homeless person to share a meal with. It could be anyone that we find just to kind of talk to them and get to know their story. And um, so through this, I've been able to meet really great people. Um, for example, last year I met this couple downtown and they were homeless and they um, spent the majority of their day picking up cans for, it was after a Husker game, so there were a lot of cans. And they spent their day picking up cans um, just to kind of show kindness. And they were really God motivated, so they felt like it was giving back to him by doing this. And um, I mostly talked with the woman there, so it was really great to kind of, I asked her about her life. and. Um, she told me about her daughter who moved to Florida and started a sewing business on her own so she could um, provide for her parents. And so this was really cool. But it wasn't until about last month when we went to go do it where I met these three men, and they were former veterans. And one of them was a veteran from um, Vietnam. And we were walking, and right as we went around the corner, we saw these three men, and the oldest one, um, he told us he was called Grandpa, but before we kind of asked him about themselves, um, we walked around the corner and we saw him, and he looked up to God and he said, my God, I have asked you for a meal when I was hungry, and you have sent these young missionaries in my way. Thank you for answering my prayers, Holy Father. And we thought this was really cool because, you know, we're able to show God's love, and God was answering his prayers through us. So... Um, we sat down with him, and he just kept praying and showing thanks to God that we have, you know, come and answered his prayers. And he told us that he always keeps a Bible with him out of um, everything, everything that he does own because he didn't have a lot. Um, he was, he had been living on the streets for, you know, quite a, some time, and the one thing that he never forgot was to carry a Bible with him. So, um... Whenever our youth groups get together to do this, our goal is to just impact somebody, you know, just listen to their stories, what they have to tell us, you know, what their views on God are, you know, we just, we want to listen and kind of make their day and kind of show God's love through our youth group. And um, I was really, you know, surprised by how much it's impacted me because uh, growing up, you know, I've never been in a position where I wasn't able to have a roof over my head. I wasn't able to eat food when I was hungry, and I've always had somebody there for me. And it was really easy to just kind of walk by someone who was on the streets and, you know, not even acknowledge them and go on with my day. But through doing Spread the Love, um, it just kind of showed me how much this one, this one encounter with people and asking them about themselves and um, giving them food and just sharing part of their day with them, it just showed me that it can make their day and it can really, um, you know, it can just impact their lives as well. And it can show God through that. And so when we sat down with these three men last month, we also asked them what they needed to, um, you know, stay warm because it is, winter is coming. And we the top answers, you know, we asked them, and they said they kind of needed, like, you no know, blankets and socks and coats, and so we are organizing um, 
to have donations for that so we can go downtown and give them things that they need. Um, and we also decided to give them hygiene packets. So we're collecting toothbrushes and toothpaste and soaps and combs and deodorant so that we can go help out the people down there. Um, the donations can be dropped off in the atrium and we'll still be accepting them throughout the majority of the year. So even if you aren't able to donate any items, um, it would still, it means a lot if you just pray for the ministry as we continue to spread the love and that we can show God's kindness through and that they can feel that God is with them. So thank you for letting me share about spread the love. Praise God.